Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. Okay, still refactoring here, and I've uh, made some changes. Um, basically, I took out this MIC header names. We're still in the determined data private sub. I took out the MIC header names, um, and I took out column count. So I'm going to take them out here now. I also got rid of this dim row as integer and when I took out these two lines of code I placed them into the make gender column and I put make header names um, and we don't even need new sh uh, we do need new sheet we need new sheet name at this point I might get rid of that as well because like I said we're gonna make that a module level variable uh, kept the make header names then I make the header gender then I change the column count to one that was all up here and now this is make gender column okay good enough um, and let me before I I go here let me talk about what we did here um, with field gender there's the second line of code here first off this is kinda of bothering me and I kinda of have to think my way around this here um, we're basically using the same lines of code over and over again here to make the male and female names which is great that's kind of what you want to do I, I just I don't I don't I there has to, I was thinking of a better way I was thinking of maybe doing a a dual do until loop um, because I could easily increment these numbers here start it with three or start it with uh, start it with three add one at the end do until it's four and then take the M and the F off of um, the first letter of column E, line three and four. But I, I just think that that will be way too complicated. It won't look like what it's doing. It's just better to leave it like this at this point. One of the things I did change um, with Phil Gender was it was uh, Phil Gender was asking for. Let me see if I could find it here. Uh, was asking for. Uh, sheet name and I took that off and that's what we're going to do now um, with this make gender uh, column now it's asking for um, it's I believe make header is in the header is in the header um, module and it is so you know what I'm going to keep that because like I said before uh, this is a good example here. This is what I did, declared new sheet name is is a private variable to this module here, and um, if it won't, I won't be able to pass that. If I take this off, I won't be able to pass it unless I make it a public variable, and it will be available to all the modules. So I'll keep it here. So this looks good. Um, I'm just gonna pause the video for a second in case I can think of any anything to make this a little bit more pleasant so to speak just a second so one of the changes that I made here was again going back up here where this new sheet name is a module level variable so I took it off of enter data now um, so now enter data only accepts one parameter um, maybe I think it's up here actually Enter data is total uh, is taking on total new names and the column letter. So it's actually taking two parameters. I'm sorry I didn't see this one, this A letter or B letter here. So um, at this point, and it can be a different column name. Um, so I think that's going to be it for this video. What we're going to do, well, let's. I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to try it out and make sure that it works. Uh, well, why don't we just do it live? Okay. Uh, so last time we did Justice League, this time it will be the Avengers. Uh, I didn't get down here to change it here. Taking out that new sheet name. Make sure you know, I didn't do it here either. Let's hit play. Let's go to the sheet. So here's our Avenger sheet. We have two female names and we have seven male names. 
we go back here that's what we ordered uh, nine names all together the gender all looks right so nothing broke so that's good and uh, I think it's looking a lot cleaner than it initially did I think it could look a lot better though as well um, and I'll, I'll see what more I can think of there but it's time to I think move on to the other aspects of our project I might order reorder some of the functions here so I don't have to scroll up and f back and forth too long especially if I decide to revisit this decide to refactor or rewrite it at some point it will make a little bit more sense to me so um, that's it for this video if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure that if you like the content on this channel you subscribe and share so that other people are aware <laughs> And um, if you have any anything to add, that would be awesome. Leave it in the comments. And um, if you like these shorter videos, make sure you also leave that in the comments. And thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.